teacher and students from Kaohsiung Medical University teach people effective ways to disinfect. Holy Liaison Office Cooking Team prepares food for volunteers on duty at Taiwan Lantern Festival. Welcome to Taiwan Headlines, I'm Sanky Tai, thank you for joining us. A Taiwanese man studying in Japan recently posted a message on the Facebook saying that taking cyanide could kill the coronavirus and asking people to take it quickly. Because this was a false message, it has been charged with breaking the anti-epidemic law. One doctor said that cyanide is poisonous and if you take it, it will damage your brain and heart and we should not believe in a rumor like this one. A Taiwanese student in Japan said that taking cyanide can kill the coronavirus. This woman, managing a chemical shop for 40 years, says that this is very absurd. Cyanide was like the arsenic in the past. A little amount can kill. Cyanide is used in smelting and electroplating metals or in making a pesticide. This poison can be quickly absorbed into a human body through skin or the trachea. The affected organs can quickly lose oxygen so it can affect the brain and the heart. In a serious case, people will die in just a few minutes. The criminal in the Thousand Face case put two drops of the cyanide in the drink, and the people who drank it died quickly because their brain stopped working. A rumor says now grinding apple seeds into powder and taking it can kill the virus, but it is a piece of false news. The Ministry of Health and Welfare says that ethanol and bridge are good enough to kill the virus. These viruses have a layer of lipid on the outside, so if it touches the ethanol or any organic solution, this layer will be destroyed and the virus will become inactive. Spreading rumors can accept people's mind and also break the law, so experts appeal to the public to refrain from spreading fake news. Coronavirus outbreak has caused a severe shortage of masks and hand sanitizer. A teacher and the students of the Department of Medical and Applied Chemistry of the Kaohsiung Medical University teach people how to make their own hand sanitizer. If you do not have any ethanol, you can use isopropano, which is just as effective. During this critical period, your body temperature will be taken, a surgical mask will be worn, and constant hand washing whenever you enter a public area. In addition, you can also carry a hand sanitizer. Washing hands is more important than wearing a mask. 75% ethanol can kill around 90% of bacteria, so it is also effective. But it can't be as clean as washing your hands with water. The teacher and the students of the Department of Medical and Applied Chemistry teach people how to make your hand sanitizer. You need a pair of chopsticks, a pot, a plastic cup, and four cups of 95% medical alcohol. If you don't have the alcohol, you can use this isopropanol. Then you add one cup of aloe gel and mix them together. Aloe gel can maintain the moisture so it can extend the time for sanitizing. Isopropanol works as well as ethanol. So making hand sanitizer with it is the same. It seems to stay on the hands longer than ethanol, and it doesn't feel as dry as other hand sanitizer. If you can't wash your hands immediately, you can use the hand sanitizer. But after using it, you should not eat immediately, so you won't swallow the remaining sanitizer solution. In order to prevent the epidemic, masks are not out of stock. A non-woven fabric factory in China has also stepped up mask production. The National Army and city volunteers in China went there to help. City volunteers are responsible for quality control and packaging, hoping that their meager effort can help the entire population prevent the epidemic. The mass production line runs 24 hours in the long woven fabric factory. In addition to the National Army, there is also a group of Chi volunteers. Those in dark blue shirt with white collar are Zhiji volunteers. The one on the other side is a soldier of our National Army. So the soldiers of the National Army and Zhiji volunteers are here to help produce the mask. 
They are responsible for the packaging part. For the machine, since it is dangerous to operate, we'll do it ourselves. They also help us to see if there's any abnormal or the material is insufficient. From Monday to Friday, they need assistance here, so we have fixed different groups of volunteers to come to help every day. With a view to produce raw materials for masks, this long ribbon fabric factory has taken out the machine for making SARS masks more than 10 years ago. We mainly focus on producing the fabric using the big machine, so most of our manpower focuses on the host machine, the big machine. This mask making becomes a sideline. Volunteers are responsible for the quality control at the end. Although they have to be fully equipped with dustproof clothing, they are doing it happily. To come here to help, at least we need to be healthy because we need to fold the mask using our hands. And there are some volunteers responsible for printing of packaging boxes. Many volunteers are teachers whose schools haven't opened. Because it's due on winter vacation and here just needs manpower, so I come to help. Working like this from yesterday to now, do you get used to it already? Making sure that every minute is meaningful, volunteers have injected bits of love into the masks so that the entire population can be protected against epidemic and feel more at ease. A new coronavirus outbreak has worried people around the world. So far, we know the virus came from Huanan Market in China, and people who ate the wild animals started the outbreak. Some experts have been saying that being vegetarian can avoid all these problems, and we can stay healthy and stay away from the epidemic. Scientists have discovered that 70% of epidemics come from animals, and the major cause is because humans craving to eat them. Intimate interactions between humans and animals can probably cause this kind of effect. The new coronavirus and SARS affect the lung, and the AIDS attacks our immune system. Transportation is very convenient now, and it can take people anywhere. So if these epidemics can transmit from human to human, it will become a serious global health issue. This new epidemic is threatening the human health around the world. Dr. Li Minnan has been a vegetarian for years. He feels vegetarianism is environmentally friendly and is also the way to mitigate disasters. If we go after the cause of the new coronavirus, we will realize it is because we eat a lot of meat like pork or even wild animals. They shouldn't have caused any infection to humans in the first place. If we can eat lesser meat and more vegetables, we will have less problems like this one. We should do our best to protect people and also all other living creatures in a manner that is friendly to Earth. Last September, the Car Zest Corporation in the Philippines carried out its social responsibility by providing free materials for glasses along with standing staff to volunteer at the Tsiji Free Eye Clinic. Furthermore, their staff took some coin banks and five months later, staff returned coin banks to Tsiji and picked up more coin banks because they wanted to continue doing good deeds. A company in the Philippines provides free materials and also sends staff to volunteers at a Tsiji Free Eye Clinic so they can help blind people see doctors and also help people with eye examinations. When the staff see the patients becoming joyful from being able to see again, it is quite touching. When we carried out social responsibility with Chiji and saw patients who had been blind for years become so emotional when they could see again, it was very touching. When our eyes have problems, our company will help us deal with it, but many people don't have this kind of benefit. After today's volunteering work was over, love continued. The staff of this company brought home a coin bag each. Five months later, 19 coin bags are returned to Tsiji. Because it's a baby master, not only the rich can help, can donate, 
even they are employee only, they because na kakonti, they give what they they feel from the heart. <laughs> Volunteers send their new coin bags so the staff can continue their love and good deeds. Santa Maria School in Indonesia worked with Siji so that 420 students and teachers could have coin banks at home to save money to do good deeds. One of the students was hospitalized due to illness, but he still saved money in a drawer in his ward every day so he could continue doing good deeds. <laughs> Santa Maria School greatly supports Siji's coin bag with over 400 students and teachers donating their coin bags that they have been saving for one year. William is one of the students. He was once hospitalized due to typhoid fever, but this did not stop him from doing good deeds. I put my money into a drawer in the hospital ward, and I didn't put the money into the coin bank until I got my coin bank yesterday. Although I'm still sick, I can still do good deeds. Fina is also happy that she can do good deeds with a coin bank, so she can help people in need. I often didn't know where to donate my money, but now I have a coin bank. This is more convenient for us to do good deeds. The religion of the school is different, but the principal still supports Siji because it does good deeds. Dan kegiatan ini membantu anak-anak yang this gives the students a chance to do good deeds and also allows those who don't participate to see that so many teachers and students are eager to do good. When the whole school encourages each other to do good deeds, it will encourage a better mood on campus. At the Taiwan Lantern Festival, many volunteers on duty guarded visitors attentively at the Tsiji exhibition area. To serve foods to these volunteers, Holly's cooking volunteer team prepare over 20 meal boxes daily with love. Here, let's meet a 70-year-old cooking volunteer who comes to serve every day. The large lantern displays brighten up the night. The crowds flocked into Taiwan Lantern Festival, and Tsiji's exhibition area is also a highlight of the show. Volunteers explain about recycling with visitors and guide them by shift. Their meals are all taken care of by cooking volunteers. The volunteers wash the vegetable carefully. There are about five to six volunteers taking shifts every day. However, she is an exception. Today it's a small one. I'll need my both hands if it's a bigger one. Every volunteer takes shifts, but what remains the same is that 70-year-old Zhang Lianman comes every day. If I hear people say that the food is delicious, I feel very happy. Zhang Lianman had a spine problem and can't stand long after undergoing the surgery. Nevertheless, she comes to cook every day and is very experienced in culinary. She has devoted in cooking since 921 earthquake and has been cooking volunteer at the construction site and liaison office. She always does a great job. From the setup of the Lantern Festival to now, there were more than 100 volunteers to serve meals within a half month. Sometimes the number we got was different from the actual people who come, so we always need to recalculate. The meals of five dishes and a soup were delivered to the exhibition area from Holy Liaison Office. Everyone can taste the volunteers' love in the food. These cooking volunteers are the biggest encouragement and support to the volunteers on duty at the Lantern Festival. To stay the efforts of recycling volunteers, Tiji Volunteers in Jai hosted a spring festival gather at Zhonghua Hemei Recycling Station. They also invited a TMCM doctor from Dalin to the hospital to teach senior volunteers how to be healthy so that they can continue to do recycling. Compared with other recycling stations in the city, Zhongpu Hemei Recycling Station covers a wide space and has a complete shopping area. Many seniors come here to volunteer every day. People who are literate can handle filling affairs. But since I'm illiterate, I can only help collect donations, that's it. But I am very happy to be recycling. 
This year is the 30th anniversary of recycling. In order to thank recycling volunteers for their hard work, Qiji Jiayi Liaison's office hosts a gathering after Lunar New Year, inviting a traditional Chinese medicine physician from Dalian Qiji Hospital to teach seniors how to safeguard their health. These recycling bodhisattvas are all very hardworking. They are also medical volunteers and also need to do recycling. However, they do not feel tired, no complaint about being dirty. They have been doing this for many years. The gathering today makes these recycling bodhisattvas feel very warm. During this gathering, recycling bodhisattvas are also invited to a photo shoot for a promotional poster. We put all these recyclables to form a heart symbolizing the image of love, gathering different kinds of recyclables and the love from these Buddhist avas to protect the earth together. Especially in this critical epidemic period, we hope everyone can feel safe, both in their mind or body, and also to have a peaceful world. Kilong Siji volunteers have started the senior school at the Jingsi Hall since last March and have got more than 80 students now. Let's join the wrestling activity to make glutinous rice balls like a big family. Mix the glutinous powder with proportional cold and hot water and then make it into floor dough. It's ready to make glutinous rice balls. <laughs> At Kilong Senior School, volunteers prepare glutinous rice bowls and seniors join them to make, which have reminded them good memories from the past. It's interesting because we used to make glutinous rice bowls together with the whole family. It was very harmonious, but since my mother-in-law passed away, we changed this tradition and started to buy them. If possible, we will start making it ourselves next year. Now they don't make rice balls anymore but just buy them. It's very funny to make it ourselves. These seniors have become like a big family after 10 months in the senior school. In addition to eating the glutinous rice balls, volunteers also led them to do exercises together, which has brought many laughter. <laughs> We taught them to duck dance step by step, and they were all dancing cheerfully. We want them to acquire wisdom and happiness through games. The seniors have found companions as well as joyfulness here at the senior school and stay young with active minds. The general concept of drug allergy is that after taking medicine, it may cause minor symptoms such as itchy skin and drowsiness. In fact, in the past 20 years, thousands of people in Taiwan have suffered serious drug damage. Some 548 people have died with 85 handicapped for life and 1,240 suffering serious illness. In advanced countries such as in the United States, drug harm caused by pharmaceutical companies or physicians often has led to compensations of millions of U.S. dollars. However, there are fewer such lawsuits in Taiwan. Since 2000, the Pharmacological Hazard Relief Act has been established to provide funding to those who can't get funding from drug companies. Simon, born in the United States, is a healthy baby of Chinese descent. He was like this until the age of six when he developed a cold and went to the doctor. If I didn't take him to the U.S. hospital, my son may be okay. But I sent him to the hospital and they gave him medication four more times in a row. And in total, he took Motlin ten times. U.S. physicians later learned that Simon had a severe allergy to this cold medicine, but the cold medicine he had previously taken in accordance with doctor's orders caused irreparable complications. My son's ears, eyes, skin began to fester on the outside, and so did his internal organs on the inside. Skin ulceration, organ damage, intubation, treatment, along with Simon's lungs all experienced necrosis. 
He finally received a lung transplant to save his life. Since then, Simon fought the illness every day until he died at the age of 18. Simon's painful life originated from cold medicines and allergic reactions caused by a pharmaceutical company in the United States. His dad sued the drug company who proposed 3.5 million U.S. dollars in compensation. His dad did not accept and continued to appeal because a patient suffering blindness due to drug allergy in the United States had received 14.3 million U.S. dollars. Going to the United States for compensation from this lawsuit is much higher than that is available in Taiwan. Domestic drug relief system is based on the premise that patients weren't able to successfully apply for drug damage relief compensation from drug companies and hospitals. In the past 20 years, Taiwan has a total of 3,500 applications for drug allergy harm, of which 1,873 have been approved. Based on the average relief for drug damage patients, family members receive $21,600 U.S. dollars for death, with lifetime disability patients receiving more than $30,900 and severely ill receiving nearly $1,300 U.S. dollars. Seeing the medical expenses or compensation should be subsidized by pharmaceutical companies or the government because we did not indiscriminately take this medicine or are not taking it randomly. My damage was caused by a prescription prescribed by a doctor. Statistics regarding severe drug allergy damage in Taiwan, 67% of patients have damaged skin, subcutaneous tissue and mucous membranes, 9% have hepatitis and liver failure, and 8% have immune system problems. Many are also rendered weak, vulnerable to infection and even shock. After grandfather took the medicine, he has an allergy and his situation turned sharply. I hope he walked away with peace of mind, but I'm very sad because he couldn't talk to me because he was intubated. Drugs that treat tuberculosis have serious side effects and could become a life-threatening poison. I was a bit angry at that time. I was so angry that I actually wanted to sue physician for medical negligence. Emerging new medicines are constantly entering the market, and the number of those suffering from allergies in Taiwan is rising. Therefore, treatment and prevention have become a top priority. Pharmaceutical companies are probably not interested in research into pharmacological harm. They are usually interested in how to improve the efficacy of their medicines or increase their markets. So we research early on to find the side effects of their medicines, as few pharmaceutical companies are interested in this. Without the support of a pharmaceutical company, the Changgung Medical Team cooperated with Academia Sinica. In the past 15 years, the top three allergy genes resulting in domestic pharmacological damage have been identified. In other words, before doctors prescribe suspicious drugs, the Ministry of Health and Welfare stipulate that physicians must screen for this first. If the patient's blood is positive, other drugs must be used instead to avoid drug allergies. You can do a genetic test by taking blood, and you can know if you have this dangerous genotype to a drug allergy. More than 500 patients have been tested for drug allergy. Almost no serious allergic reactions have occurred in the past. Of about 100 drug users, one will have a severe allergic reaction. Medical personnel need to take medication seriously and safeguard patient health at the front line. People also have to examine their own physical and mental health and check to prevent future medical harm. UK Manchester City Volunteers hosted a prayer ceremony at the Heaven Center to promote vegetarian diet. Volunteers also prepare handkerchiefs as gifts and remind everyone to wash hands frequently. Take a look and see you next time.